Hey, this is Rick again, and uh, we're going to be looking today at uh, user groups. Now, uh, user groups are pretty simple. Uh, they allow you to control what accesses and what information a certain group of people can see. All right, like let's say agents or queues. So, um, let's go ahead and create a user group, and I'll explain along the way. So, we're going to click on user groups, and we're going to have the options here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add a new user group. And we're going to give it a name. Um, let's call it sales out underscore out. Remember, no spaces or punctuations. Okay, description will be sales agents outbound. Okay, so we're going to submit. Okay, so now we see that we have two user groups created the admin that was already there and the uh, sales outbound. So let's go to the sales outbound and let's go ahead and show you what it is. Okay. So, um, we have certain amount of options here. Okay, now again, we can basically control the behavior of what's going to happen when they're logging in or where they can go and what they can see. So, let's start. Force time clock, force time clock login. Uh, this will basically force them to use the time clock. There's an option when they log in that there's a time clock option where you can have them punch in and punch out. You can force them to do that, you cannot, you can sh enforce the shifts. When we set shifts, you can tell them, hey, you can only allow to log into this campaign from this hour to this hour or this particular shift. Allowed campaigns. This is the one that is probably the most important because if you have a set of sales agents and if you have a set of customer service agents, you don't want a customer service agent being able to access a sales campaign and vice versa. So, for example, we would allow this particular group of agents only to go to the test outbound campaign. If I had many campaigns, you can select, pick and choose which campaigns you can go to. Uh, the group shifts we're not going to worry about. Uh, the agent viewable groups. Uh, you want to make sure that if you're going to be creating queues, that they only view their own stuff. They're not viewing and, and reviewing other people's other queues. So, um, let's go ahead and set it out so they can only view the statuses of the sales outbound agents. Uh, we're going to leave all this alone. I mean, this is pretty much controls what they're going to be able to see on their on the agent screen when they're when you know when they're taking calls and waiting for calls. Were they able to see the call logs? Are they allowed to view um, other stuff in there? Um, generally, just setting it like that usually works good enough for the agents. Um, and this part right here is the allowed reports. If you check, if you go in under the administration, you will see that there's actually a section with reports, and we'll get into that too. But um, in order for them to view uh, what their agents are doing, to make sure that you know that they're doing the proper job and their metrics are, are being kept, that the agents are not taking too long on calls, so they're not taking enough calls, or and you know any other kind of reports that you can, you'll be able to see live with that. Um, this is where you control what they can actually see what options will they have so in this case it's going to be a sales outbound campaign let's go ahead and we're going to hold down the control key okay and we're going to hit real time and report and then holding on the control key we're going to hit the outbound then we're going to summary and let's see let's give them the agent status and since it is for outbound you might want to know the list campaign status reports what status is the list given? Okay, so we're going to submit. Now, well, once we create it, it's all the agents that we're going to create, and we put them under the sales agents outbound group. Uh, when they log in, they're only going to be allowed to see the test outbound campaign. They're not going to be forced for a time clock or a shift enforcement. Uh, they're only going to be able to see their own statuses. Basically, for the outbound sales, they will be allowed. To see the real time main report, the outbound call report, outbound summary interview report, the list campaign, and the agent status detail. So, this is how we're going to control this group of agents. We're going to allow them just to see the stuff that we need them to see. If we need to add more stuff in, uh, once we create more campaigns, any user group, you can just check them in, and uh, they'll be allowed to go in there too.